All right, coming at you with another brand new product review. So I picked this up on Poshmark, 150 bucks. This is a Barboard J. Crew barn jacket. So it was a collaboration. J. Crew, I guess, had an old school barn coat that was designed in the 80s, early 80s, and they collaborate with <clears throat> other manufacturers to make different versions of it. And so Barboard manufactured this jacket to uh, sort of inspired by the J. Crew barn jacket design. This is my first Barboard jacket. Uh, I do not believe you can purchase these brand new anymore. Um, yeah, this is, because I've never had another Barboard jacket, I can't really say how this would compare to like Barboard's more standard offerings. So I'll, I guess I'll try to keep away, but for comparison's sake, I do have this old Filson, um, Oh, what the heck is this thing? It's a shelter cloth packer coat. So similar materials involved here between these two, but very different fits and very different purposes. So starting with this guy, what we're gonna notice is that it's got a pretty tailored fit to it compared to what I'm used to. This is a, a double XL. So I am six foot two and a half. I'm 255 pounds and very broad across the shoulders. And, uh, this actually fits pretty pretty good. It feels a little tighter than I'm used to in the armpit area. Just a little bit tighter than I'm used to. I'm used to workwear. I'm not really used to like tailored stylish stuff. Uh, so that's kind of different. And I would say this is definitely more of a style piece, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have utility beyond that. So we'll get to that. But yeah, a little bit tight around the armpits, but I don't have any real binding issues. It gets a little tight kind of right here, but uh, there's a nice pleated back up here that allows for a good range of motion. Uh, the sleeve length is really nice. You know, I mean, overall, I'd say the fit is excellent. So normally in American sizes, I'm an XL or an XLT. Occasionally I'll be a double XL, but for the most part, I stick between XL and XLT. Um, this is a double XL, and I would say that this fits a little bit tighter than a regular Filson extra large would. So if you got like a, a regular old cruiser, um, it, a, an extra large would fit a little bit looser than this double extra large barbore, and that's normal for European sizing with my experience. That being said, uh, here on the cuff, uh, these, this is a really nice jacket. It's incredibly nice. The uh, inside the cuff, like way up, is is this beautiful cord, same cord that's on the collar, but it, it shoots up to about shoots up to about right here on the inside of the sleeve. So you actually have room to roll the sleeve up and have still have contact with that nice corduroy. Uh, you have two snaps, so not much of a difference between the two, but you can cinch the cuff down tighter if you like. And uh, we have. A dual zipper, that is a hallmark of an excellent garment, outdoor garment, is that you have that, that dual zipper. And uh, you zip up, that's nice. And we do have a button, excuse me, a snap down storm flap. Okay, and that snaps all the way up. I don't need to go over that. And uh, you have a nice big pull ring here on the zip, which is great. And I have to get used to these European zippers as well because they do things the opposite of the way we do it. And uh, there's a it's a YKK zip and it's uh, brass. And it's the same with the snaps. The snaps are uh, branded with the Barbour logo and uh, looks like either nickel or nickel coated on the inside, maybe the same. There's definitely some brass in there. I don't know what they typically make snaps out of, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's high quality. Uh, nice storm flap. And then we have this beautiful collar with this very soft corduroy on it. And if you flip the collar up, there is no throat latch on this guy, but I would say this is a little bit taller than a typical collar. So it goes up pretty far. It has nice, stylish look to the collar too where it kind of points out <clears throat> and they do supply a little pin i don't have it with me but they have a little oh wait maybe i do oh yeah a little pin here a little barbore pin 
you can stick in your collar, or, you know, if you like to do that kind of thing. I won't be using it. Now, the pockets on the outside, we have hand warmer pockets up high. These are lined with some sort of a fleece material. Uh, they're very shallow. You know, you could probably put like your keys in there or something, but not the best option because they're so shallow, but it's comfortable to keep your hands up. Uh, down here, we have these dump pockets and these dump pockets actually kind of flap out from the body, which is interesting. And they're very large and they're also comfortable to put your hands into uh, if you want. So you got two options for your hands, although these ones are unlined. So there's no lining in there. And then underneath this bottom flap, it's lined with corduroy, and there is a small, uh, like little cargo pocket here. It's it's wide and short, you know. And I don't know how this is coming through. The color of this jacket is coming through on the screen there. To me, it looks like a very very dark blue. Uh, it could technically be a black, but to me, it looks like a very very dark blue. And this pocket is exactly the same. You got the hand here and then you can flip up the flap thing and you got a little you know put your shells in there or whatever you want to do on the inside we have some nylon on the bottom hopefully that can be seen there nylon on the bottom we have this very soft cotton tartan lining and it is quilted so I it feels like there is some sort of insulation in there I looked on the tags and I didn't see anything that told me about whether it was insulated or not but it does feel substantial and thick so I'm gonna guess there is probably some kind of insulation on this guy um, yeah and then of course you have your barboard care tag over here a nice interior pocket with one snap uh, the inside appears to be oh look here's a tag it probably tells me what what this thing's made out of so we got wax cotton outer Oh wow, the inner is 70% wool and 30% polyamide. So this must be a wool lining, which is great. I thought it was cotton, but it's 70% uh, wool and 30% synthetic. So, and it feels very soft, it's wonderful to touch. So that's nice, you get a wool lining. Uh, the inside of the sleeves, however, appears to be a like a, a, a thin cavalry cloth, like cotton style material, but let's keep looking at the tag here in real time and see what else I can find out. Yeah, the sleeve is 100% cotton. The trim is 100% cotton. So it would appear that the only synthetic involved here is the 30% polyamide inside of this beautiful tartan wool, and then this nylon down here, obviously. And then the rest of it is natural materials. So the exterior is wax cotton. Uh, from what I could find on the internet, I think it's a six ounce wax cotton. That's definitely on the thinner side, but it has a very substantial feel to it. So I'm not sure what the weatherproofing on this is gonna be, but what I'm gonna tell you is that, at least inside the body, with a majority wool lining, and with that combination of synthetic, uh, you could absolutely get wet, but you probably won't get cold, at least not in the body. Now your arms are gonna be a different story. If that dry cotton in the sleeves gets wet, it's gonna be clammy in your arms, but uh, the wool in here, even if it gets wet, is still, you're not gonna to freeze to death uh, because of that. So is this a hard, I don't think this was designed to be like a hardcore mountaineering garment, right? Like look at it, it's got like a nice dressy look to it. Uh, but for sure, you know, could it work as a hunting jacket? Absolutely. Could it work as a field coat, go on a day hike, take a pack with you, you're going out for a couple hours on a trail? Yeah, absolutely, you could do that. You know, people like to act like a two-hour trek on a well-marked trail with a parking lot attached to it is the same thing as going up in the mountains for three days. It's just not, okay? So, <laughs> depends on where you live, but you can get away with, you know, cheating quite a bit if you're going to be in a very easy-to-get-around location. You know, it's, it's really only incredibly unprepared people, incredibly unhealthy people, or incredibly stupid people who find themselves in trouble on a very well-maintained trail. So, uh, you know, I would not hesitate to use this as an outer shell in a number of circumstances that probably most people would not. But, you know, I also dress appropriately under the shell. So do with that information what you will. I'm not here to give you outdoor advice. That's not my area of expertise. So you can see it comes down pretty far. 
you know, this is probably something that's going to look real sharp if you're dressed up for work, going to an office, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think there's much else to talk about. Oh, yes, the last thing I want to talk about with the uh, the jacket, though, is, is there is some good, I don't know if it's coming through here, but there's excellent reinforcements at the base of the collar. You know, so if, if you do button it up, snap it up, and zip it up, the collar is probably going to do a pretty good job of staying up if you need that extra warmth around your neck. So that's great. Uh, I'll take this off and show you some details here in a moment. Right now I'm going to talk about how that would compare to something like this Filson. So this Filson here <clears throat> is made of shelter cloth. And shelter cloth is their mid-weight canvas. Shelter cloth is probably the closest thing to this particular wax cotton on this jacket here. So um, I have quite a bit of experience with Filson and Filson wax cotton products. This is my first bar of work. For sure, Filson is more of a workwear garment. You know, Filson is, has catered to the outdoor market, you know, guides, hunting, mountaineering, stuff like that, but mostly in the past, right? Like you're probably not gonna see too many people mountaineering wearing a giant wool and wax cotton Filson. You know, they're probably gonna be wearing like the North Face or Patagonia or Mountain Hardware or something like that. Uh, you know, Fjall Raven. Things, things that are lighter weight, have synthetics in them. But for sure, this particular garment um, is more of a workwear piece. So it has a more generous fit and Filson in general has a more generous fit to it for articulation on a job site, whether you're swinging an ax or turning a wrench, you know, those kinds of environments, you know, timber cruising, there's all kinds of things. Those are all jobs, right? Those are people out, out in the field doing, doing jobs. The barb war seems to cater more for preppy types, you know, looking good. And then people who, you know, maybe they're preppy, but they need a little outdoor performance or for like the more sporting outdoor activities like hunting and fishing. And of course, Filson caters to that market as well. But there's a lot of crossover in uh, Filson's line between more work oriented gear like this guy and, uh, and then the outdoor type stuff where slightly different markets okay they use the same materials in a lot of their things i think barbore tends to go a little bit more modern than filson does with a lot of their legacy things but you know comparing these two now i have not had this in a rainstorm yet but i can already tell you that the water resistance of this jacket compared to something like this especially since it's caped through the arms and chest and upper back this is going to hold way more water out than this guy will uh, that doesn't mean that this won't perform well. It just means it's not going to perform as well as this guy. I can tell you too that this is considered their Felsen's medium weight canvas and it feels substantial compared to this one. So this is either about the same thickness or maybe a little thinner. So if you go with Felsen's tin cloth, which is the most common wax canvas Felsen sells, you're going to get higher uh, wind, water, uh, wind and water resistance than you would with something like this one here. Now, Barbour may have other wax cotton products that are thicker that are uh, for more extreme environments. So I guess where I'm going with this is if, if you're looking for a style piece, if you're looking to look sharp and, uh, you know, or you're going to be out sporting or some combination of those two things, Barbour is probably the better option. If you're looking for workwear, you know, specifically workwear, and then you're gonna have a crossover between workwear and outdoor activities, Filson's probably your better option. Now, if you're more of a traditional American build like I am, I'm just very big, like forget the gut. The best shape I've ever been in my life, I had a flat stomach and I was 245 pounds and even wider across the shoulders than I am now. I'm just a big dude. And uh, it can be really difficult to find European products that just fit well with that broad of a, of a shoulder. Uh, and so Filson caters to that market very well. So, you know, it, what, what's your style? What do you like? You know, what are you doing? But for sure, if you're looking for something with crossover between like more work oriented and outdoor oriented, Filson's the way to go. Okay, that being said, let's get this guy off and I'll give you some, give you some looks at it. So, you get, it says it's made in Moldova. I don't know where Moldova is. I'm going to guess either Spain or Italy. Sounds like a, you know, something like that. Corsica. I don't know. 
Uh, here's the reinforcement on the base of the collar here, right here. Uh, incredibly well-made, well-made jacket. Beautiful corduroy, it's very soft, looks very nice. The tartan lining, I mean, that pattern is just gorgeous. Uh, I'm so impressed with the fact that it's this soft and it's made of wool. That's really something else and uh, very comfortable. Here's the nylon along the bottom on the inside, which is a great place to put the nylon because it's really not gonna come into contact with you, but uh, it's a durable material and it's a synthetic, so it's not gonna hold water. And uh, that's probably gonna come into contact with your pants quite a bit. So I think that's actually a pretty good place and pretty good use of synthetic in a more traditional garment like this. Here's inside the sleeve. That's the cotton lining inside the sleeve. Very nice. You know, there's nothing super special about that, but it's it's nice. Um, yeah, there's the Barbour and J. Crew branding on this particular one. Uh, here's your Barbour tag on the interior pocket. And we'll get a better look at these cargo pockets. So you can see there's a Barbour embroidery here beneath the hand warmer pocket. Again, fleece lined, very nice. Feels like fleece. It could be cotton, but it's uh, nice, whatever it is, and it'll keep your hands warm. The, uh, oh yeah, look at that, there actually is a little bit of cord inside the top of the cargo pocket there, which is a nice touch. So that is the cord. And then on the inside, it's just uh, the same cotton lining in the sleeves. And then you have the um, wax cotton on the back. And then this cargo pocket here, you stick your hand in and it flaps out. So the flap there doubles to cover this little shell pouch or, you know, whatever you'd call that. Kind of neat. I'm, it's very unique. I've never seen anything like that. So I know Barbour's got its own kind of thing going and it's just not something I'm familiar with. Also very nice. They have some venting at the bottom of the armpit. Which is great. So you can see the lining through there. So you will have to breathe through that cotton lining, which is very thin. And then in the back here, we have uh, pleating. So that allows for articulation in the arms. And in my limited experience, just putting this on, I'd say that works great. So I'll, you know, eventually I'll do a follow-up on this guy. We'll see how it's doing. We'll see how it's wind and water resistance is. Uh, you know, and, and it's entirely possible that this guy could end up replacing my trusty Filson here. I got such a good deal on this, I have a hard time thinking I'd ever sell it, but you know, I don't like to have too much crap. <laughs> so, so eventually things just kind of have to go and where there's a lot of crossover, you know, uh, this is such a good work jacket though. So I, have, I think I'd have a real hard time parting with this guy. Uh, I don't have a hard, I also have a hard time seeing myself trying to beat this one up because it's very sharp and I don't have a lot of clothes that are real sharp like this so you know but uh, anyway that was a little rambly I'm completely unprepared unscripted so if you manage to stick with it this far God bless you all right well feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below